Good morning, Temple Baptist Church family. The church board is pleased to introduce to you Bryce Clausen, who will be serving in the summer pastoral ministry position. The month of May will be a time of orientation for Bryce, a time in which he will become familiar with the church as well as the community. The church board is looking for ways to have you meet Bryce, and uh, in the next several weeks, we will be doing what we can to uh, introduce you to him, again, observing physical distancing. Then in the months of June to August, Bryce will be serving in my absence when I am on sabbatical. So at this time, Colleen Eisner, who is the chair of the diaconate, as well as a member of the board who was part of the interview process with Bryce, is going to be asking him a few questions to help you get to know him a little bit better. Well, thank you, Bryce, for uh, coming here this morning and to meet with us and to Temple Baptist Church. Um, thank you for uh, tuning in. And so I'd like to introduce to you Bryce Clausen. And I've had the opportunity to speak with him a couple of times as we interviewed him. And so we just wanted to get, give you a chance to do the same. So Bryce, can you just share with us, the congregation of Temple Baptist Church, a little bit about your family background? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, I just thank you, Colleen and, and Neil and the team here that's uh, recording this and uh, recording the video and the, and the sound. Um, so I was born in Brandon, Manitoba. Um, most people are familiar where that is, but I grew up in a, a small town, even smaller than Swan River, um, called Rivers, Manitoba. Um, and then um, I moved to, to Winnipeg about five years ago. My parents still reside in Rivers. I have one brother, um, one older brother, and he is living in Brandon um, currently. So, so small family, small town. Um, so coming to Swan River, you know, um, wasn't a, a big change because I was somewhat uh, familiar with the, the small town uh, vibe. Well, thank you, Bryce, for that. Um, can you just share with us a little bit about your faith journey? including your salvation experience and your call to ministry. Yeah, for sure. So, my father, I'm going back to my father because it, it sort of begins there. My father uh, came to faith uh, when I was a young child, a baby. He was a janitor at the, at the high school. He was reading the Gospel of Matthew, and that's when he had his... Uh, um, conversion experience and he still has that Bible actually to this day so um, it's pretty beat up but it's a, it's a sentiment um, and so I was raised in a sense partly with the faith um, however at a as a teenager I, I really kind of I, I really kind of turned away from that and uh, and I don't want to say I did a, it was a conscious uh, thing that I did, I don't think I deliber deliberately, you know, turned my back on God, but but over time, I I just found myself in a in a different place and just lost, utterly lost spiritually, and uh, and um, yeah, over over time, things just kind of got got worse and worse, and uh, you know, when I thought that all hope was lost, that the Lord He uh, he reached out to me, and um, he brought me up out of that, that place, and everything sort of changed, and um, it was like waking up from a, a bad dream or a nightmare, and um, that's when I started on this new journey that I'm on now, um, and I, I knew that, uh, that I was going to be serving in some capacity. Um, I suppose I, the way I saw it was that God had, had, had saved me from that place that I was in and uh, he did that for a reason and for a purpose and uh, so um, I decided, hey, what do I got to do next and uh, that's when I went back to school and uh, went to Providence University College and began my uh, academic uh, career there. Um, uh, began studying uh, Bible and theology and I recently graduated from there. And uh, about a few months ago, I saw the posting for this, for this job. So I guess I knew from the moment that God had saved me that I was, I was going to be involved in the ministry in some capacity. Well, we're really glad that you saw that posting at Providence. But can you share with us um, 
why it was it that this position attracted to you? Yeah, so initially, um, I, I don't, I never really looked at the job board that often, but I guess I decided to look at it that day, and I saw this one, and at first, to be honest, I thought it was a little too good to be true. Um, it was kind of like a, a, a dream position, to be honest. And even though, um, even though the, the description has changed a little bit in light of everything that's going on, I think the core things are still, still there, right? Um, first and foremost, to get the opportunity to, to preach, right? Um, to teach. Um, uh, personally, I, I, I get the opportunity to, to grow, and, and equally as important, I get the opportunity to learn. Um, not only from the church, the church leadership, from Neil, but also from the congregation as well. Um, and that's important to me. I see this as an opportunity for spiritual, spiritual growth um, all around. So those things are still, still intact. Um, and I think it's an opportunity, it's a challenge um, that I am you know, more than willing to, to meet. So. Okay, so that's a perfect segue into my next question which is that the initial job description has changed a lot with the new reality that we're all living with. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any ideas as to how you can continue with the ministry while Pastor Neil's on sabbatical? Yeah, absolutely. We've, we've gotten into to some good discussions about what we're going to do um, going forward and how we can take advantage of the situation because I think it is a situation that can be taken advantage of. And uh, so there are, there are a number of, of ways um, that we can, that we, I think we can uh, meet this, this challenge. Um, using the online um, format is obviously one of them. Um, you're doing that right now with the, the recorded sermons, and I think you're doing a great job of that too. Um, we want to initiate some um, online modules as well. I'm going to be checking in with the congregation on a regular basis throughout the week, um, giving them updates, little devotionals, things to kind of keep them uh, thinking spiritually and, and biblically and um, and then also online uh, Bible studies as well. We want to take advantage of the Zoom platform um, so that everyone can, can check in with one another, right, and uh, study the Word together and uh, just check in and uh, see, how, see how everyone's doing. Um, and obviously we're still, you know, discussing the best way to go about these things, but... Uh, I think it'll be good and I look forward to it. Well, we're all looking forward to it too. Um, just a, one last question for you. Yeah, of course. And um, this is a very personal question. Uh -oh. um, so how has God been working in your life recently? Yeah, so God is, one thing that blows my mind is the fact that God is working in my life. Um, I think that uh, last night actually I was thinking, I was reflecting on this and uh, um, I was thinking, why would this infinite God, um, creator of the universe, be concerned with me or my life? And that's something that is almost incomprehensible, I think, uh, for all of us. And uh, just a testament to his grace and uh, his love that he is concerned with us. And uh, recently, um, I've, been, I've, been, I've been struggling a little bit with what do I do going forward, you know, and I think God is, is, is challenging me, like after this, after my position here, what, is my, what are my plans, right? Um, I've been accepted into a, a great seminary in the States, Westminster Theological Seminary in Philadelphia, and um, so that was sort of my initial plan, but I don't know, I'm feeling somewhat of a, a, a pull in another direction, and that's to continue studying at, at Providence. So. Um, I don't want to blow it out of proportion and make it sound like that's a, a huge, huge problem in light of everything that's going on, but uh, I think that uh, he's testing me as always and challenging me, and uh, it's through these challenges that we grow, so I hope that answers the question. Okay, well, I, I think that I'll speak for the congregation in that we're happy that you're going to be here, and we will be praying for you. Uh, as uh, you lead us and as God leads you. So, Pastor Neil, you had a couple words you wanted to finish with? Yeah, thank you, Colleen and Grace, for uh, just sharing this morning and uh, Grace for letting us hear a little bit about your life and your journey and uh, how God is working within you. 
As a congregation, we, as Colleen mentioned, we want you to pray for Bryce as he ministers here this summer and as he carries out the responsibilities that uh, have been entrusted to him. Also, I encourage you to connect with him in some way. Uh, you can always call the church. He has set up an office here at the church and you can call and uh, have a conversation with him. Uh, also drop by the church. Of course, we want to uh, uh, acknowledge and uh, the physical distancing and, and abide by that, observe that. Uh, but uh, it would be a great way for you to uh, just meet Bryce and to, uh, so that he can put a, a name and a face together. And uh, that would be very helpful to him. So uh, Bryce, we welcome you to Swan River. And uh, we more specifically welcome you to Temple Baptist Church and uh, look forward to the time that you will be serving with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Colleen.